well here we go again guys welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to be talking about the season 13 leaks everything season 13 man the trailer dropped the other day and this season will be called the winter war man a lot of people have been dropping things about the test server and stuff like that i haven't had a chance to get inside of the test server myself but i'm looking at the leaks right now and we're going to talk about it on this channel so if you can man don't forget to hit that subscribe button like the video and stay for the entire video let's have a discussion about season 13 i want to talk about it with you guys i want to know what you guys think your thoughts man so let me know do you like the leaks that you're seeing or do you not really care about it and you just want to see straight up bug fixes and all that good stuff um desync and all that address but i'm hoping they address it in this season and continue to improve it. it's not as bad as it was a couple of seasons ago but we all know it's still there so let's talk about it man call of duty mobile season 13 the winter war man look i'm very excited for the snow maps that are going to be coming to the game you know what i'm saying uh, but let's go down the list man first we're going to talk about the season 13 battle pass characters man first we have ghost dark vision man ghost star vision looks pretty good now i will say this they keep on introducing ghosts to the game and we have a lot of ghost skins already we need let's let's get some more alex mason skins or so it's easy to put ghost in because you can kind of decorate him you know but i would like to see you know so some more characters get some love and some shine we keep getting dark dark <laughs> i've been saying dark skins we keep getting ghost skins you know but the next skin the helen park skin safe house i do like this skin because it's different it looks more laid back more chill kind of casual like in a way i do like this skin man helen park safe house is there and i'm gonna drop you know the screenshots on the screen of course and let you guys see exactly what i'm talking about so next we have the adler mountain drab i think that's what they say mountain drab the Atler. We got the Atler skin. It looks okay. I'm not really a huge, huge fan of it, but it's decent. I do like the casual skins in the game, and I do like the crazier skins in the game as well. The, oh, man. I like this skin. I like this skin. This is Gotham. I like this skin right here. This skin is pretty good, man. Siberia. Okay. I like this skin right here, man. It looks pretty, pretty good. This is probably my favorite out of all of the skins that will be coming to Call of Duty Mobile through the Battle Pass, man. So, if, you, if you're not planning on getting a Battle Pass, I say that these skins are looking pretty good. So, you might want to reconsider what you're thinking. Next, man. Let's talk about this Season 13 guns. Now, this is where everybody comes together and agree. When new guns come to the game, it's always a great thing. You know what I'm saying? I hope these guns are pretty good. I have seen that they are pretty good. We'll see. Hopefully, they're not broken good, but hopefully, they're pretty good. Like, I feel like the HDR was a great addition to the game. A little balance. Not OP. Not crazy. Not bad, you know? So, Peacekeeper, man. The Peacekeeper is coming to the game. Peacekeeper, one of my favorite weapons. I think I played with it in Black Ops 2. Love the Peacekeeper. And the MP7. The MP7 is coming as well. I play with that in, uh, I think it was Modern Warfare. I mean, look, if y'all don't play console Call of Duty, like some people, this is their only Call of Duty. So we have to realize that some of these weapons they have not seen before. So the nostalgia factor is not there for them. But at the same time, the newness factor, they can they get to see and use great weapons, man. So the Peacekeeper, man. And a saw rifle from Black Ops 4. Um, Black Ops 4 too. Yeah, I did play with Black Ops 4 as well. Um, this gun has high damage, fast fire rate with great accuracy and really um, really good close range is what this says in the leak. I get these from Xylon Gamer and they just get it from like different sources, Murder Blast and stuff like that. So the MP7 also come to the game, submachine gun and Call of Duty Modern Warfare. The SMG is close range, master dealing high damage combos with fast fire rate and performances are on par with the Fennec and QQ9. See, if you're on par with anything that says Fennec, you are doing pretty good. QQ9 is still my favorite to use that is not cheese. The, the, the Kimbo Fennec is straight up cheese. So the MP7 will be named the QXR. Why? I wish they could use, you know what I'm saying, the regular um, names on some of these gu um, guns and stuff like that. The Peacekeeper is still going to be named. It said it will keep its name Peacekeeper MK2. So Peacekeeper is keeping the name. 
and the MP7 is getting a name change. I, I don't really like QXR. Why I gotta be QXR? I gotta QQ9. Then I got a QXR. But ah, it's okay. Okay. All right. Let's talk about the maps, man. Call of Duty Mobile Season 13 maps. Um, Holiday Raid is making a return. Uh, it's more of a snow raid. Uh, I want this prop hunt. They gonna bring prop hunt back? I, I assume so. I don't know though. I don't know. Uh, but. And the upcoming season 13 of Call of Duty Mobile again, uh, two new maps. Well, not really. <laughs> That's what this thing says. It literally says, well, not really, but a new visual update to the map. So, Ray Holiday will be coming back. It was in season three. And now it's making a return. And we're also getting Nuketown Russia, which is basically the snow version of Nuketown. So, we get the snow Nuketown and we get in uh, Holiday Raid back. I will be dropping the screenshots for you guys. And so that's all Zion Gamer has on the um, on the current season 13 leaks. But I'm going to another site that has a little bit more information for us. So let's talk about some more things that are coming to the game. Uh, the new operator skill is coming to the game. I've seen like leaks of it uh, just floating around and stuff like that, and it looks pretty cool. I don't know how it will work in and you know in the game, but let's see if I can find it. I know I just saw it. Oh, here. Wait, that's his weapons. You know what? One thing I do hate, guys, I hate <laughs> like searching for stuff. But here it is right here. It's called the Gravity Vortex Gun, the new operator skill. A brand new operator skill. It first appeared in Infinity Warfare and now has made it to Call of Duty Mobile. The skill enables players to fire a vortex of gravity ahead of them, sucking their nearby opponents toward us before exploding. Hmm. I've seen this on Hawkness channel, I think it was. It looks very, very interesting. Um, I don't, will it take place of some of the others? I'm not sure. Transform shield gets used a lot now. Um, I can't even think. Of it. <laughs> the pistol gets used a lot now. I love my mind's drawing blank. It's early in the morning, guys. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm, I'm interested in, in using that in practice. Gas grenade is also coming to the game. A new piece of tactical equipment. Look, I told, I try to tell you guys, tat mass is gonna one day be a thing. Depending on how they start putting stuff in the game, you start getting restock in the game, you start getting a whole lot of different things in the game. Tat mass is gonna be a perk you want to use in certain situations. Depending on who you're playing against, you're going to want to have a tack max class. And in my top 10s, I put a lot of variety because it's the top 10 best classes for every situation. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to go on a rant about that. A lot of people are like, bro, why don't you just have dead silence on all your classes? But I'm telling you, you're going to need different setups in the future. They keep adding different stuff to the game. Diamond Camo, as we know, is coming to the game. It's going to be a long grind. All you have to do is unlock gold, and then you can get the diamond by playing 150 matches and unlocking i mean getting at least 10 kills a piece i know that's for the assault rifles and it's different for different weapons but i know off top of my head that's for the assault rifles and so the icr looks pretty good it's an icr screenshot of the diamond it looks pretty pretty good bro look diamond's gonna be crazy it's gonna be a long grind but it'll probably probably be worth it in the end and I, I feel like a lot of people are not even gonna just grind grind for you just gonna play normally and you'll unlock it really all you have to do is unlock gold first and just play normally I'm pretty sure most of us now if you're playing in a public match you can get 10 kills no problem easy and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna work on getting the 10 kills you know what I'm saying we're gonna get them done uh, as fast as possible for multiple different weapons at a time. I'll show you my method that I have in my mind later on when season 13 actually drops. So, but that's the main stuff right now that I've seen um, in the um, season 13 leaks and stuff like that. Man, let me know what you guys think about season 13. Hopefully, you watched all the way to the end. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? All that good stuff, man. Appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget, continue to grind, continue to shine, and never, never stop being hype.